Oh, that's f***ing cool. And that's how we completely destroy a power board on a leader one point. Nice. Hey everybody and welcome to Quadcopter Review. I'm your host Pepe Prawns and today we're going to be looking at the Beta FPV 75 Pro and that is a brushless 75mm whoop style quadcopter and I got mine in FR Sky. It does come in several different types. You can uh, get it also in DSMX, S, FHSS, and with no RX according to their website. Now, this particular quad is very similar to the 65S, but it is a 75, and it comes with many of the same items that were on the 65S, but let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what we get in the box. So first thing we're going to take a look at is the battery that comes with it, and we're going to get us a 550 mAh battery that comes with it. You can also fly the 650 mAh. 1S battery, of course, uh, in this as well, and I have one of those, and I'm going to do a totally separate video comparing the 550 and the 650 flight times on this particular little quad. Now, of course, this is a bind and fly, so all you need to do is put in a battery, and off you go. There's nothing more to do with that, so if you're just getting into the hobby and looking for a brushless micro, this is ideal for that, because there won't be a lot of work involved to get going. Now, this also comes with... 40 millimeter props, four blade props come in the package and you get the one set, but they're pretty hard to break. Inside of it we have the Beta FPV four, uh, F41S brushless flight controller, and that is that Maytech F411RX flight controller. And it also has a Z01 25 milliwatt all-in-one VTX camera. The board itself, of course, is an all-in-one, so it has a 5 amp BL heli. ESC set up inside of it as well. Now if we flip this guy over we can also take a look at the motors and this particular one comes with the 0703 19,000 kV motor as well. So a little bit big, bigger motor than the 65 millimeter. Um, the board and cameras the same which are gorgeous cameras and when we go into the flight footage we'll take a look at that and I'll explain a little more. Uh, as far as the receiver goes, it does work in D8 and D16, and that's just a matter of your selections in beta flight and butterflight. And if you have any troubles doing that, let me know and I'll tell you how. So the first bit of flight footage you're gonna see, guys, is using the stock setup, so the straight up uh, beta flight, I think it was 3.4 setup that comes out of the box, which, you know, is a fairly strong setup here. And note that I'm running uh, these 550s RHV batteries, so it should be at 435 when we started, but it was at 41. So just note that the battery, you know, was being used when I was setting up beta flight, so uh, the time will be a lot less than we would have gotten because I kind of started off a little flat to begin with. But as you can see, I mean, it's pretty stable, you know, in beta flight. Uh, I use butterfly more than I use beta flight, and I'm a strong believer in it and the difference. And you might be able to see the difference in the two flights once we switch over to my butterfly setup. And uh, in the description below, I'll put my pit, my PIDs in there, and I'll put my rates in there because I do use some rates along with the PIDs in order to to stabilize it. And I'm also running butterfly's buttered PIDs, so. We'll take a look at that in the next flight, but as you can see there, you know, we're getting a little, uh, a little prop action coming out of maneuvers as this setup was out of the box. And, you know, most of the time in my yard, as you can see, we've got a lot of Spanish moss down here in Florida. And to avoid it, I have to usually fly pretty low to the ground. So this particular point here, I'm just stopping and uh, taking a look to see where the battery is going to bounce back to. I usually will run my batteries down to 3.2, 3.1, and they'll usually bounce back to an acceptable uh, bounce back rate, usually around safe, you know, safe storage mode. So... Um, I, I think most of you have probably seen me go through here and and with these with these pids you can see a little bit of a challenge to keep a straight line. But like I said, out of the box, you know, pretty good with uh, with beta flight. So let's make the switch over to my butterfly setup and we'll take a little ride in that. Uh, and a quick note for all my dedicated subscribers, I do apologize for the, the gap in my videos, but it's been raining here every day, and it starts raining about 4 p.m., rains through the evening, the grass stays wet till about 3 p.m. the next day, so I have about an hour window to do any flying right now, and if it rains early, I'm just doomed. 
So I think right here, as you see, as we go into our first little bit of acro, uh, nice snappy flip, you know, coming right back to level, much, much different than uh, before. And as I get closer to the ground here, I'm able to stay out of the grass while avoiding these things and having to duck it. And uh, for me, it's, it's a night and day difference when I switch over. You can completely feel the difference. Uh, I'm not sure why we got flicker in the DVR, but um, I wasn't getting flicker in my my goggles. And speaking of that, uh, looking at this camera, I mean, I, I hopefully you guys can see um, just the quality of the cameras is insane. I mean, it's it's damn near HD, you know, in a little camera. And uh, you know, as you know from DVR to goggles. And goggles, it's flawless. I mean, it's just like, you know, watching television using these cameras. They just make outstanding boards and cameras, Beta FPD does. And like I said before, you know, this is why Tiny Whoop uses their boards for their FR Sky, even in, you know, the originator of these little guys. But as you can see there, I mean, I can buzz the ground without any issue at all in this thing. And of course, Beta FPV does sell all these parts and pieces separately too. So if you're just interested in the camera, if you're just interested in the flight controller ESC combo, you can get those parts, including the frame and motors, and build it your own way, the way you'd like to. But again, I mean, I really do love their components and I love their stuff. But there you go. As you can see, people crash. It's part of the hobby. You new guys don't watch all those pros and think that they don't crash because they do. But here's the cool part. Turtle mode. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV-related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on YouTube, look over here. Don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin. And if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel, check that out right here. And thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and happy flying.